Hello and welcome to Bible AI. In this video, we will be exploring the top 10 Old Testament archaeological discoveries. Number 1. The Merneptah Stele. The Merneptah Stele is an ancient Egyptian artifact that was discovered in 1896 in the mortuary temple of Pharaoh Merneptine Thebes, Egypt. The Stele, which dates back to around 1210 BC, contains the earliest known reference to the Israelites in ancient Egyptian texts. The stele is inscribed with a text that describes Merneptah's military campaigns, including a reference to a people called Israel. The inscription reads, Israel is laid waste and his seed is not. The Bible states that the Israelites were slaves in Egypt until the exodus under Moses around 1400 BC. This reference provides evidence that the Israelites were already living and established in the land of Canaan, the region that would later become Israel, at the time of the stele's inscription, around 1200 BC. Number 2. The Teldin Stele The Teldin Stele is an ancient inscription that was discovered in 1993 at the site of Teldin in Israel. The Stele is an inscribed limestone slab that stood as a victory monument dating to the 9th century BC. Written in Aramaic, it contains the earliest known reference to the Israelite kingdom and its king and ruling dynasty, mentioning the House of David. This reference is the first extra-biblical evidence for the existence of a king named David in his dynastic line reigning over the Israelite kingdom. The Tel Dan Stele also provides valuable information on the political situation in the region during the 9th century BC. The inscription mentions conflicts between different kingdoms, including the Israelite kingdom and the Aramean kingdom of Damascus. This information helps to confirm the historical accuracy of the Bible, which also mentions conflicts between Israel and its neighbors during the time of King David and his descendants, found in the book of 1 Kings. Number 3. Solomon's Fortified Gates King Solomon's Fortified Gates are a series of ancient gate structures that were discovered in the early 20th century at three different locations in Israel, Megiddo, Gezer, and Hatzor. These gates are believed to have been built during the 10th century BC during the reign of King Solomon as part of his fortification projects, as described in the Bible in 1 Kings 9.15. The Bible describes Solomon as a powerful and wealthy king who built a grand palace and the temple in Jerusalem, as well as fortifications and monumental building projects throughout his kingdom. The gates were likely built as fortifications to protect the cities and the kingdom. They were strategically placed, and they had a defensive role to protect the Israelite kingdom under Solomon from external threats during the 10th century BC. The gates at Megiddo, Gezer and Hatzor are believed to be among the monumental building projects of King Solomon, and they are archaeological evidence of his reign. Number 4. The Mesha Stele or Moabite Stone The Mesha Stele is an ancient inscription that was discovered in 1868 at the site of Dibon in modern-day Jordan. The Stele, which dates back to around 850 BC, contains the earliest known reference to the kingdom of Moab and its king, Mesha, and mentions again the House of David as a ruling dynasty in Judah. The Mesha Stele is an inscribed black basalt stone victory monument with an inscription in the Moabite language. On the stone is a long inscription of 34 lines, in which King Mesha describes how he had defeated the Israelites and reclaimed land for his kingdom of Moab. The Bible mentions the Moabites as a people living in the region east of the Dead Sea and neighboring the Israelites. The Mesha Stele confirms the historical existence of the Moabite kingdom and its king Mesha and provides insight into the political situation in the region during the 9th century BC between the Moabites and the Israelites, recorded in the biblical books of 1st and 2nd Kings. Number 5. Hezekiah's Broad Wall Hezekiah's Broad Wall is a massive fortification wall, 27 feet tall and 23 feet wide, that was discovered in the city of David in Jerusalem. The wall, which dates back to around 700 BC, provides valuable information on the historical accuracy of the Bible and the political and military situation in the region during the 8th century BC. The wall was discovered during archaeological excavations in the city of David, which is a small hill located just outside of Jerusalem's old city. It's believed to have been built by King Hezekiah, who was the king of Judah in the 8th century BC. The wall gives further evidence to the historical existence of King Hezekiah and his fortification projects to defend Jerusalem from an Assyrian invasion. The Bible describes Hezekiah as a king who prepared Jerusalem for a siege by the Assyrians, including the construction of the wall. The Bible mentions King Hezekiah and the construction of the wall in 2 Kings 2020 and Isaiah 22 9 through 11. Number 6. Hezekiah's Tunnel Inscription 
Hezekiah's Tunnel Inscription, dating back to around 700 BC, is a short inscription that was discovered by British engineers in 1880 in the tunnel that runs beneath the city of David in Jerusalem, which can still be visited today. The tunnel runs approximately 1,750 feet, connecting the Gihon Spring to the Pool of Siloam. The inscription is written in ancient Hebrew script, describing the ordered construction of the tunnel by King Hezekiah, who was the king of Judah in the 8th century BC. The inscription says that the tunnel was dug to bring water into the city during a siege. The Bible describes Hezekiah as a king who prepared Jerusalem for a siege by the Assyrians, including the construction of the tunnel, the broad wall, and other fortifications. The Bible mentions King Hezekiah and the construction of the tunnel in 2 Kings 20:20 20, 20 and Isaiah 22, 9 through 11. Number 7. The Senech Arab Prism The Senech Arab Prism is a clay cuneiform inscription that was discovered in the ruins of the palace of the Assyrian king Senech Arab in Nineveh, Iraq. The prism, which dates back to around 690 BC, contains the earliest known historical record of the siege of Jerusalem by Senech Arab during his campaign against the kingdom of Judah. The prism is a hexagonal-shaped cylinder that is about 10 inches tall and made of clay, offering a detailed account of Senech Arab's military campaigns including his siege of Jerusalem in 701 BC. The inscription describes how Senech Arab laid siege to Jerusalem and how Hezekiah the Judite, the king of Judah, was caged like a bird and forced to pay tribute to the Assyrian king. The Bible mentions the siege of Jerusalem by Senech Arab in 2 Kings chapter 18 through 19 and Isaiah 36 through 37. It describes how the Assyrian army laid siege to Jerusalem, but the city was miraculously saved. The Senech Arab prism confirms the historical occurrence of the siege, that Hezekiah paid tribute to Senech Arab, and that Jerusalem was not captured or completely destroyed. Number 8. The Ketaf Hinnom Amulets The Ketaf Hinnom Amulets, or scrolls, are a pair of small silver scrolls that were discovered in 1979 in a burial cave in the area of Ketaf Hinnom, a hill located outside of Jerusalem's old city to the south. The scrolls, which date back to around 600 BC, are significant because they contain the oldest known biblical verses. The scrolls were found in a small burial cave, inside of two small silver amulets. The scrolls contained inscriptions in ancient Paleo-Hebrew script, with verses from the priestly blessing found in Numbers chapter 6 verses 24 through 26. The discovery of the silver scrolls provides valuable information on biblical texts during the first temple period and Jewish beliefs and practices at the time. The Ketaf Hinnom scrolls are around 600 years older than the previously known biblical texts, and they give us a glimpse into the textual tradition of the Hebrew Bible during this period. Number 9. The Babylonian Chronicles The Babylonian Chronicles are a series of cuneiform tablets that were discovered in 1887 recording King Nebuchadnezzar's military exploits in Israel and Mesopotamia covering the years 605 to 597 BC. The second siege of Jerusalem, which occurred March of 597 BC, is recorded. It reads, He, Nebuchadnezzar camped against the city of Judah, Jerusalem, and on the second day of the month of Adar he took the city and captured the king, Jehoiachin. He appointed a king of his own choice there, Zedekiah, took its heavy tribute, and brought them to Babylon. The Babylonian Chronicles support the historical accuracy of the Bible and its accounts of these events found in the book of Jeremiah. 2 Chronicles 36, and 2 Kings 24. Number 10. The Cyrus Cylinder The Cyrus Cylinder is a small clay cylinder discovered in 1879 in the ruins of the ancient city of Babylon in Mesopotamia, now modern-day Iraq. The cylinder, which dates back to around 539 BC, is significant because it provides valuable information on the historical accuracy of the Bible and the political situation in the region during the 6th century BC. The cuneiform inscription in Akkadian describes the conquests of the Persian king Cyrus the Great who ruled from around 550 to 530 BC. The inscription tells the story of how Cyrus defeated the Babylonians but treated the people of Babylon and the gods of the city with respect, allowing the exiled people to return to their homes and temples. This discovery supports the historical existence of King Cyrus and his conquest, as well as his policy of religious tolerance, which is recorded in the Bible in the Book of Ezra. The Bible describes how Cyrus conquered Babylon and allowed the Jewish exiles to return to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple around 540 BC. Bonus Discovery Number 11. The Qumran Scrolls In 1947, a Bedouin shepherd stumbled upon a cave in the vicinity of the ancient settlement of Qumran, located northwest of the Dead Sea. Inside the cave, 
the shepherd, found several clay jars containing scrolls made of parchment and papyrus. These scrolls, which date back to around 150 BC to 70 AD, turned out to be some of the oldest surviving copies of the Hebrew Bible, also known as the Old Testament. The Qumran scrolls provide insight into the transmission of the Old Testament manuscripts. Prior to the discovery of the scrolls, the oldest known copies of the Hebrew Bible were from the 9th and 10th centuries AD. The Qumran scrolls, however, are over a thousand years older and give us a glimpse into the textual tradition of the Hebrew Bible during the Second Temple period. The scrolls include fragments or nearly complete copies from every book of the Hebrew Bible, with the exception of the Book of Esther. These texts provide invaluable information on the accuracy and care exercised by Jewish scribes in the copying and transmission of sacred Hebrew texts, upon which modern Old Testament translations are based. These texts also provide valuable information on the beliefs and practices of the Jewish community at Qumran and give us a better understanding of the development of early Judaism. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more similar content and leave a comment down below on which discovery you found most fascinating.